this video we'll talk about Delay Designer. I'm going to be using Electric Piano. Later you'll see why I decided to go with Keys. Now let's go to Inspector and insert Delay Designer in Audio Effects slot. Delay Designer is a multi-tap delay. Most of the delay units offer only one or two delays or taps. Delay Designer provides up to 26 individual taps and each one can be edited to create unique delay effects. Let's play a single note. We can hear one repetition, and we can see one tap place in the main window. We can move closer to the original note. Click the timeline to insert another tap. Each tap is snapped to the grid, otherwise you can disable sync mode. In this example, we're going to keep it synced. Down below, you can change the grid. Each tab has its own toggle button. Those buttons provide a quick way to turn parameters on and off. On this page, we can mute tabs. You can do it in the main window or go to the bar down below. Now let's edit tabs. You can drag the bright line of the tab you want to edit. In this example, we're going to control level. You can hold command key and drag over multiple tabs to change their value. Or you can hold command key and click to draw a line. Now let's go to the transpose page. Here we can alter pitch of each tab. You can click the toggle button to deactivate pitch effect. As you can hear, the second repetition was identical to the dry signal. Now let's go to the next page, the cut off filter. Let's select all the tabs and activate filter. Here you can high pass and low pass frequencies. Next we can go to the resonance page. Here you can edit filter resonance value of each tab. And the last page is pan works same as your pan knob. You can move the tab to the left or to the right. And also you have control over the stereo width. Now let's hear what it sounds like. As any other delay, Delay Designer has a feedback, but it works slightly different. You activate the feedback, and then you select the tabs that will be affected. You can hear that the pitch keeps going up because it cycles through these values multiple times. You can use zoom display to zoom in and out if you want to see more tabs. Or you can move to different sections by dragging it. Auto zoom is available as well. If you want to create groove while listening to the track, you can use tap area. Start, tap, tap tap and enter the last tab to finish it. Let's skip through some presets to see what this plugin is capable of. And just to remind you I'm still playing a single note and the rest of the melody is generated by the plugin itself. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta tell